Could castration lead to longer life? Stay tuned to find out. Last week, we shared a story about how testosterone treatments positively impact old mice. Click the card above or check the description to watch that video. Today's story is about how castration lengthens the lifespan of sheep. Both farmers and scientists have known for some time that castrated male sheep live on average much longer than their intact or uncastrated counterparts. However, this is the first time anyone has looked at DNA to see if it also ages slower. Researchers have now shown that castration makes male sheep live longer, and they've also used genomic data to get a basic understanding of the mechanism behind this longevity. It's well established that there's a link between sex and lifespan in mammals, with females of many species, including humans, outliving males. But the mechanism behind this difference isn't yet understood. Scientists expect the link to be mediated by sex hormones, like testosterone, for example, and this notion is supported by various experiments. An international team of researchers have developed an epigenetic clock for sheep, and in the process of this research, they developed a better understanding of the link between sex and lifespan. Because the populations from which they collected tissue samples included castrated sheep grown for wool production, the researchers were able to compare the readings of their epigenetic clock in the castrated males, intact males, and females. In sheep older than 18 months, the castrated males had a significantly lower epigenetic age than intact males. According to the epigenetic clock, mature castrated males were an average of roughly three months younger than their chronological ages, while there was no difference in the epigenetic and chronological ages of the intact males or of females. The team identified roughly 4,700 methylation probes that were expressed differently in castrated and intact males. Further examination revealed that more than half of the top 50 sites are bound to by androgen receptor, including the 14 most significantly different loci. While castration is unlikely to be part of a life extension therapy, unraveling its effect on lifespan will help flesh out how male sex hormones affect aging, which could lead to less drastic interventions that might yield similar benefits. So to tie this all together regarding last week's story about how testosterone treatments improve mitochondrial function in old mice, restoring their cognitive performance, and how this sheep castration story seems to suggest lowering testosterone testosterone from castration is lowering the epigenetic age of sheep. My personal takeaway is simply that longevity science is hard, complex, and we clearly don't have all the answers yet. But both of these stories, and really all of our stories on Lifespan News, help us piece together the insanely complex puzzle that is aging. And the more info we have, the better chances we have at solving that puzzle. So we'll see you in the next episode of Lifespan News. 